हॅलो एव्हरी वन आय एम रोहिणी हरिदास वर्किंग ॲज अन असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर इन इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजिनिअरिंग डिपार्टमेंट ॲट मौलाना मुख्तार अहमद नदवी टेक्निकल कॅम्पस मालेगाव सो फर्स्ट लेट एस सी द मिनिंग ऑफ स्टॅटिक रिलेज अ स्टॅटिक रिले रेफर्स टू अ रिले इन विच देअर इज नो अर्मेचर ऑर अदर मुव्हिंग एलिमेंट अँड द रिस्पॉन्स इज डेव्हलप्ड बाय electronic magnetic and other components without mechanical motion the solid state components used are transistor diodes resistors capacitors and so on the functions of comparison and measurement are accomplished by the static circuit a relay using the combination of both static and electromagnetic units is also called as static relay provided that the response is accomplished by the static now what are the basic components of the static relay so it consists of the relaying quantity rectifier relay measuring circuit amplifier output device and a trip circuit and for the operation of all these components we required a dc supply in the next slide the each part it is discussed in detail the first one is the input element and the relaying quantity the input element or the relaying quantity can be the output of the ct or pt or it may be the output of the transducer or it may be the combination of the various signals a rectifier is required to get the input signal in convenient form before applying to the measuring unit a static relay only gives a response to the electrical signal the other physical quantities like heat uh, temp, uh, like heat temperature etc is first converted into the analog and digital electrical signals and then they uh, act as an input so here in this diagram in this uh, diagram you can see the relaying quantity which is nothing but the output of the ct or the pt or the transducer and here we use the rectifier that is we need to convert the relaying quantity in the next is the measuring circuit this is the heart of the static relay it compares the output of the input element with the set value and decided the signal to be applied to the output element which ultimately drives the tripping circuit the measuring unit has the comparators level detectors and the logic circuits the output signal from the relaying unit obtains only when the signal reaches the threshold value the output of the relaying measuring unit act as a input to the now in this diagram you can see the output of the rectifier it is applied to the relay measuring circuit we know that in conventional electromagnetic relays the measurement is carried out by comparing the operating torque with the restraining torque the electromagnetic mechanical relay operates when operating torque exceeds the restraining torque and the relay pick up value of the relay is obtained by the movement of movable element in the relay but in case of the static relay the measurements are performed by the static circuits so here we use the comparators level detectors etc to compare the input quantity with the preset value the next component is the amplifier the amplifier amplifies the signal and gives output to the output device next component is uh, so amplifier uh, amplifies the signal and it gives uh, input to the output device next component is the output device the output device activates the trip coil only when the relay operates the output is obtained from the output devices only when the measurement has well defined value the output device is activated and gives tripping command to the trip circuit so here the output device will give the signal to the trip then the dc supply all these component circuit along with the tripping circuit requires a dc supply operation that is for the operation of the relay measuring circuit amplifier 
output device and the trip circuit the required watt DC supply. So this is the basic components of the static relay. Now let us see what are the merits of the static relay. The power consumption in case of static relay is usually much lower than in case of the electromechanical equivalents. Second advantage is quick response, long life, shock proof and the few problems of maintenance, high reliability and a high degree of accuracy. The absence of moving contacts and associated problems of arcing, contact bounds, erosion, replacement of contacts etc. Quick reset action, a high reset value and absence of overshoot can be easily achieved because of the absence of inertia. Then ease of providing amplification enables the greater sensitivity to be obtained. The use of printed or integrated circuits avoid the wiring errors. The basic building blocks of the semiconductor circuit permits a greater degree of sophistication in the shipping of the operating characteristics enabling the practical realization of the relay with threshold characteristics more closely approaching to the ideal requirement. So by combining the various functional circuits, several conventional relays can be substituted by a single relay. For example, a single static relay can provide overcurrent protection, under voltage protection, protection against the single phasing, short circuit protection in an AC motor by incorporating the respective functional. Now, next advantage is the static relays are very compact. The meaning is that a single relay can perform a several function. A single microprocessor based system can substitute a several independent protection and a control unit. The space required for the installation of the protective relay and a control relays etc is reduced. For example, as discussed in the previous slide, suppose if you want to provide the under voltage protection, over voltage protection, under frequency protection, over frequency protection etc. So all, the, all that protection schemes can be combined in a single unit and therefore the static relays are very compact. The characteristics of static relays are accurate and superior. They can be altered within a certain range as per the protection needs. The risk of unwanted tripping is less with relays. Now let us see the limitations of the static relay. Auxiliary DC supply is required. However, this drawback is not very important as auxiliary DC supply can be obtained from the substation battery supply and conveniently change as per the local needs. The semiconductor components are sensitive to the electrostatic discharges. Some components are more sensitive than others. Even a small discharges can damage the components and therefore precautions are necessary in manufacturing of static relay to avoid the component failure due to the discharges. Static relays are sensitive to the voltage spikes or the voltage transient. Special measures such as use of filter circuits in relay, screening of cables connected to the relays etc are taken to avoid such a problems. Next disadvantage is the characteristics of the static relays are influenced by the ambient temperature and the aging. However, the temperature compensation can be provided by using thermistor circuits and digital measuring techniques etc. while aging may be minimized by pre cooking for several hours at relative. Next is the reliability of the system depends upon the large number of small components and their connections. The static relay have the short time overload capacity as compared to the electromagnetic relays. The static relays are costlier for simple and single function than their equivalent electromechanical counterparts. But for multifunction protection, static relays prove economical. 
highly trained persons are required for their servicing and the static relays are not very robust in construction and easily affected by the surrounding interference thank you